A moment of pride for Brazil, but a bittersweet moment for Dilma Rousseff. This perhaps one of her last acts as president before her likely suspension of allegations of manipulating government finances. A volleyball gold medalist, a former Syrian refugee and indigenous Brazilians were among the first of more than 1,000 torchbearers. Olympic officials hope that the symbolism and energy of the torches' arrival in Brazil will help to get the nation behind the Games. This should be a big sporting success, but those other questions about legacy and the wider impact on society are also being asked. It all feels very last minute. A vital metro line linking the city of Rio to the Olympic Park still under construction. No one knows what level of service will be provided when the Games open. This is just one of several transport projects struggling to be ready. But Rio's high-profile mayor denies making promises the city simply couldn't keep. What we try to do is, like, let's get the Olympics, you know, to try to do things that the city has been waiting for a long time. Okay. 23 kilometers of subway that we will deliver, 26 kilometers of light railway train in downtown Rio. While the metro will eventually be built, other so-called legacy commitments have been ditched altogether. Rio promised to clean 80% of the sewage going into its chronically polluted bay, the location for Olympic sailing events and what should be a safe environment for its people after the Games. I think they are lying and they know that they are lying. We have no sewage treatment, there's no improvement on sewage treatment, so we are expecting uh, that conditions are getting worse, worse year by year. But the biggest indictment is that these games will not have benefited most of Rio's residents. This favela, or shantytown, right next to the Olympic Park has been torn down, despite earlier promises that residents would be allowed to stay. The reality of Brazil's poverty, not an image that sits well alongside a multi-million pound international jamboree. From a sporting perspective, things are going well. Test events concluded and stadiums 95% complete. With the Olympic torch on a nationwide tour, is there still time for the Games to leave a real legacy?